with the loud Be them where you found that unannounced Get the bass, then we bounce huh. All fried, so much cap, it's astounding East side, run up muck and get township Back in the lab again, back on your again I then whip through Madison, out East Afghanistan We this this skirt, you dirt like Zadarans I've been so adamant, so cold like Avalanche I go by Babylon Next weekend, a board my bag again more moolah more problems go crazy Ferragamo Bercado tunnel under just like a El Chapo huh, back up on my me no sin no stems you get a huh whole squad on some this that church is on the move Welcome, folks, to what promises to be a great Tuesday night of the NBA on 2K go. Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talented analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. It's the 2010s team and the Philadelphia 76ers. So with Leonard on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. They've got Anthony. Duran is out there with LeBron James. Then it's Curry. And it's Rose in at the two guard. Now, here's Curry after Julius Irving's miss. And that's good. Stephen Curry for three. Curry's got the first three points tonight for the 2010s team. Here's Greer. He kicks it to Iverson. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. And the slam dunk by Irving. And you love the quick ups, but then how about that explosiveness on the finish? Irving, man, he just has incredible gifts. And the basket by Rose. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Here's Greer. Here's Irving. Nice form on the 20-footer. Irving's got his second basket of the night. Oh, he's got some pep in his stuff tonight. I wonder what he had to eat last night. I mean, very solid first quarter for him at the offensive end. Connects from three-point range. Curry's got a couple of threes now in the first for the 2010s team. To the middle. Iverson gets the bucket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Curry kicks to Durant. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Well, they've come out the locker room. His eye. Four for four to start the night. To the inside, here's Irving. That shot off the mark. And it's the 2010s team taking it the other way. Outside Rose. And Rose throws it down. Get up, D. Rose. I mean, even after all those injuries, the former MVP can still throw it down. Here's Greer. Rose with the double team. The tray hits it from three-point range. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Lays it up and banks it in. And that's now six points for Derrick Rose. Oh, I like how reckless Rose can be on the drive. He knows he has the agility to overcome contact. On the wing, Irving. And James pulls it down. Man, when the ball's in his hands, that's as high percentage as it gets. It's just a fluke miss. Got that one up quick. Curry's got nine points. Always looking to fire away from outside the arc. Curry is a master at hitting these shots. And the three ball is good. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. <laughs> yeah, man, talk about it. The great competition going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. The 76ers trail by nine. The pass to Irving. The putback. It's good on the putback. I love his work ethic, not to mention his hands. You need both to convert those tip ins. Curry dishes to KD. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. He's got nine. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. And Durant comes to help. Irving from long range. It's rebounded by Curry. 
Not the most productive quarter he'll ever have, but his shot selection's been a little bit dubious. I, I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Going for the juggler right off the bat. I mean, jumping out to an impressive early lead. Here's Greer. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Great positioning on the putback. Yeah, Malone is an absolute nightmare on the offensive glass. Does a great job of establishing that position for that putback slam. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. Here's Iverson. But 2010's team getting their last shot to go. And it's sent back by KD. Well, you're not going to sneak that shot past Durant. Not with the reach that he has. Here's the 2010's team with the ball. It's a 10-point game. That one drops for him. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Here's Greer. He's covered by Rose. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Iverson with the ball. And Curry picks him up defensively. Malone. It's rebounded by Durant. Here's LeBron, and finished off by LeBron. Man, a playmaker in every sense of the word. Rose is so good at breaking down defenses and creating for others. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. The 2010s team leads by 14. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the 2010s team. The three-pointer has been a major weapon for them in early stages. I mean, they'd be smart to keep moving and working on the perimeter. And also another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the basketball. We've got Cunningham. Hawkins is out there with Collins. Then there's Chamberlain, and it's Jones in at the three. That's the group for Philadelphia to start the second quarter. To the paint, Cunningham, and then Cunningham with the dunk. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Now here's Wade outside Curry. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Curry's got 12. Oh, probably isn't a better catch-and-shoot player in the game. Steph right on time once again. Count it. Yeah, field goal percentage above 50 now. Their offense is starting to show. Guys, they have a really solid lead at this point. Definitely, and they haven't faced much resistance. Collins with it. Wade picks him up. Offensive rebound. Basket good. Chamberlain got his third basket of the night. And I'll tell you, the combination of agility, wingspan, and stamina, very difficult to keep Wilt from scoring off those misses. No coverage that time. And the 2010s team leads by 14. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. And Anthony Davis is checked in for Dwight Howard. Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. And the vertical of Wade still remarkable. A, a high-flying two-guard who loves sending it home. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. I mean, it took him a long time to get into the flow of the game, but the points are starting to come for him now. Now here's Curry. 12 points for him. Kicks it to Wade. Knocks down the three ball. Wade's got his second bucket of the game to go. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. And, and I love the fact that he didn't have to slow down or adjust there. The pass was just timed perfectly. And then Wade slams it in. Look, Wade doesn't play around on the drive. When he's clear for takeoff, he finishes with authority. Davis with the double two. Pass to Chamberlain. And here's Hawkins. 
Right side, Collins. Again, Philadelphia. Uh, you can learn a lot by watching him operate in their offense. Curry fires from way outside. The long distance three is buried. Curry's got 15. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Planks the putback jam. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. That's the key. The D can't focus on one player. And no matter what anybody tells you, that ball will always move quicker than the defender. So it's Philadelphia now. But 2010's team getting their last shot to go. Down low. Jones, no luck. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. And having a whale of a game from three-point range. Drained three of them in that first quarter and has added three more here in the second. Now, here is Chamberlain. The putback. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. So it's Philadelphia now. Wade passes to Giannis. Curry with it. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Curry's got 21 in the game. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. The basket looks as big as the ocean right now. I mean, that's how easy he's making it look. And Philadelphia calls time here. Uh, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, the defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure Coach is going to let them know that. And the basket by Shades. Oh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. Paul with the ball. Passes it to Rose. The three from KD. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Chamberlain got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Greer. LeBron grabs the miss. James has got four rebounds in this game. Rose, and he drops it in from the low post. Rose has got 10 points. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. And it's Chamberlain finishing it off. And that's just too easy. The size, strength, length. No way to stop Chamberlain once he gets the ball in that close. For three, Durant. Good, and Paul gets the assist. He's got 16. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Here's Greer, and the 76ers tack on two more. The assist is the key to that sequence. I mean, a great look to set him up. And it's out of bounds, and they say it was last touched by Durant. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Shot from the inbound. Kevin Durant with the rebound. From deep three-point range, one second left, and James with the layup. James has got his second basket of the game. I mean, that's just the powerful build of James. Obviously helps him on the glass. Create And through one half. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. Yeah, the defense didn't do a very good job of staying connected to him. We'll see if they make an adjustment. So with Paul on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. LeBron James is out there with Durant. Then it's Anthony. Then there's Derrick Rose. And it's Curry in at the point guard position. Here's Curry. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Hits the three-point bomb. Curry's got 24. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Here's Malone. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. 
Yeah, and Malone excels at putting himself in a great position, really, on both ends. Just a dynamite rebounder and interior scorer. Here's Curry. He's got 24. Outside, KD. Back to Curry. Launches a three. Drills the three-pointer. Curry's got six here in this quarter. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Rhodes. And here they come. And James with the basket on the assist by Rose. Six points for LeBron. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Inside, Malone. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Kevin Durant. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. And he makes the first. And both free throws good for Malone. Here's the 2010s team with the ball. Out left to the wing. And here's Rose outside. Sinks the triple. Rose has got 13. Well, that makes them four for five. I mean, uh, I think that's pretty good numbers. I mean, they've got to be pleased with how things are playing off so far. And the 76ers call time here. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. And he's on fire from beyond the arc there. It's time to start shaping their game plan around stopping this long-range assault. And the 2010s team making a change here. Howard's checked in. I, I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. Curry fires from way outside. They get it back. And Howard with the second chance points. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out-rebounded. Greer passes to Irving. Here's Malone. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Malone's got six points in the quarter. A rock solid start for him. I mean, they're three for three since coming out of the locker room. And here's KD for three. The shot, no good. And it's Philadelphia the other way. To the middle, here's Iverson. Lays it up off the glass. Nine points in the game so far. It hasn't taken them any time to find their rhythm in the second half. Four for four from the field already. Curry, good. And after a sensational first half from beyond the arc, he's not slowing down here in the second. That's his third three-pointer since halftime. Another three for Philadelphia. As hot as he's been, it, it still has to be him who leads the charge and helps turn this game around. Pass to Rose. Out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. Yeah, with no defensive pressure at all, you've got to be able to make that exchange. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Embiid is at the elbow. And fouled as he went up to the dunk. Good aggressive move, and he'll shoot two. That's on Dwight Howard. And really, how do you guard Embiid when he's this close? You almost have to follow. The 76ers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. A different look for the 2010s team. Anthony Davis has checked in for LeBron. Leonard comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's James Harden in for Derrick Rose. Now here's Curry. He has 30. Outside Leonard. No good on the three. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Iguodala kicks to MB. Iverson with the ball, and Curry picks him up defensively, and a wide-open look for Igudawa. That's good. Great play set up by Iverson. Iverson's got three assists in the game. And here's Leonard from three. 2010's team with the fresh shot clock. A nice shot by Howard. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Listen, we talk about killer instinct all the time. He definitely has it. He's keeping his foot on the pedal here. Iverson passes to Embiid, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Davis. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Is there a more entertaining player in this league than Joel Embiid? I mean, on the court, he's a seven-plus footer who can do it all. Off the court, no one better on social media. Percy Hawkins checked in for Philadelphia. The 2010s team also making some changes. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Howard. 
And it's Paul in for Curry. And how about that find by Leonard to a wide open shooter? He, he's only getting better at seeing those gaps. Now here's Iverson. He's got 12 to the paint. Hawkins shot good. Hawkins has got his first two points of the night. They are just killing him on the interior. Here's Giannis. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. I've seen Paul make about a million of those passes over his career. It never gets old. Iverson dishes to Embiid. Here's Iguodala. Again, Philadelphia. I mean, it's time for him to take over. He's played it cool long enough, uh, and I think he realizes that. And here's Harden for three. And it's Iguodala with the rebound. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Embiid from outside. The shot misses. Davis with some nice D. And so it's the 2010s team with it. Paul fires from way outside. Drills it from outside. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Well, it had to be. These days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. The 2010s team out in front delivering the blowout. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. <laughs> no, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. Right, that, that's an outstanding play right there. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. So on the floor for Philadelphia, Chamberlain is out there with Cunningham. Then it's Iverson, and there's Iguodala, and it's Collins in at the shooting guard. Here's Philadelphia. The open shot, Iguodala, good, and it's Iverson who picks up the assist. Iverson's got assist number five here tonight. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific, really impressed with their offensive execution. Here's Westbrook. Good. Nice job down low. Oh, you, you think a little bump is going to stop Russ? Man, come on. No way. Total focus on that basket. Collins looking around. Count it. Good. Oh, he'll take advantage of that kind of soft defense every time. Just give him a chance to attack the basket, and he will. Count that bucket. Well, you can usually count on Westbrook being among the NBA leaders in points off jobs. I mean, time in out, control at any speed. And Philadelphia calls Party. time here. A different look for the 2010s team. James checked in for Leonard. Kevin Durant comes in for James Harden. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Russell Westbrook. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Uh, that's one of the few mistakes they've made tonight. They've limited turnovers. That's helped them grow this lead and keep it. Irving kicks to Iverson. I swing it. Help me. Say, say, Feeds say. to Malone. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. And Malone, a high percentage score when he gets it in deep. But once he's got the defense on his back, the game becomes easy with his ability to score. Durant drawing the double team. There's three pointers off the mark. The 76ers trail by 18. Iverson right side. It's stolen by Anthony. Now here's KD, the fast break opportunity. It's good. This is the game you hope Rose has every night, shooting with tremendous confidence. Rose with the double team. Now the pass to Greer. And Philadelphia has possession. Here's Malone. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. The shot's good from Paul. Strong form. Paul, he's a dead-eyed shooter from beyond the arc. Here's Iverson, and Durant sends it back. The drive by James. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. 
Rose has got three assists in the game. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the 2010s team. All those block shots, that's a clear indicator of the great D they've been playing, not giving them an inch of space out there. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. Oh, man, the lethal three-point shooter Durant is especially dangerous when he's looking to get revenge. Malone, good. Malone's got eight points here in this quarter. Uh, toughness and energy on the boards. An easy putback to show for. Yes, that goes in. Oh, man, if you're the defense, what can you do? James is too strong, too focused on these finishes. And Philadelphia calls time here. And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Stephen Curry. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. Yeah, that's a tough call right there and really a tough break for the D. And great job preventing that ball from coming into the post. Might have been an easy two if the defense wasn't there. Pass to Embiid. To the inside, McGinnis, and the rejection by Adetokounmpo. And if Giannis is anywhere close to you, don't shoot it. His length covers a ton of ground, and boy, is he fast. Here's Collins. The shot's good on the assist by Igudala. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Westbrook passes to Harden. The feed to Howard. Embiid with the steal. Hawkins against Harden. Pulls up. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And how about the terrific use of the crossover there to just throw the defender off balance? Oh, very effective. Once he gets this close, I mean, Westbrook knows he has what it takes to capitalize. Drives to the hoop. Here's Embiid. And Davis sends it back. At the elbow, it's Antetokounmpo, and he banks in the layup. And it's just competing, you know, giving your best when it matters most. Well, this is what guys play for, and when it pans out like this, it's a great feeling. Iguodala with it, and it's Harden picking him up, and it's sent back by Howard. Down low, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Antetokounmpo. A flat-out loss of concentration. That kind of turnover would drive a coach crazy. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And a block like that sends a message. One that says, we're not giving up this lead. And bullseye with that assist. Nice delivery there in traffic. Anadokounmpo kicks to Westbrook. Gets the three-pointer to fall. There's the hair trigger of Westbrook. He's not going to let the chance for a quick jump shot pass him by. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That is his first foul of the game. Kicks it out to Collins. So the 2010s team wins it.